Wish though? Where are you, Wish though? I need a glass of orange juice. But see to it that it is not too sour. Yes, sir. I'll get it immediately. Your juice, sir. <coughs> Who made this drink? Huh? It's so sour. Why can't you do a simple job like making a glass of orange juice? Wish though. Wish though. Where are you, Wish though? Did you call, sir? Is anything wrong? Is anything wrong? You are asking, is anything wrong? <laughs> Why, everything is wrong with this orange juice. It is too sour. Didn't I specifically tell you that the juice should not be too sour? Anyway, who made this juice? Raju prepared it, sir. I thought so. Uh, this good-for-nothing boy of yours can't do anything right. That is why I specifically told you to prepare the juice. Here. Yeah. Take this back and prepare another glass of juice. Yes, sir. I will bring a fresh glass of orange juice for you. Oh, wait, both of you. Just a minute. Put, put the glass down. There's something important that I wish to discuss with the two of you. Yes, sir. What is the matter? It's about Mandy and your son, Raju. What about them, sir? I am sure by now you would be aware that Mandy is insisting that she wants to settle down and get, or get married with Raju. Raju, what have you got to say about that? What can I say, sir? You have been providing us since so many years. We owe you so much. But sir, I have never encouraged her. Vishnu, what about you? Sir, we are poor people. And as you know, this is materialistic world. Poor people have no say, nor do they have any rights. In that case, it's best that this no good son of yours stay out of Mandy's life. If this continues any longer, I will have to ask Raju to live somewhere else. He cannot continue to live in the outhouse with you. Do you understand that, Raju? Yes, sir. Alright, both of you can leave now. And prepare a fresh glass of juice for me. What's the discussion about? What to do? I, since I am the head of the household, I have to solve numerous types of problems every day. Yes, it's regarding Mandy and Raju. Anyway, is there anything you have to discuss? Not now, Wong. Since you're so tense up, why not the two of us go to the botanical gardens for a stroll? The closeness to nature will be therapeutic. Hmm. Okay, that's, that's not a bad idea. Uh, let's go to the botanical gardens. Uh, I'll wait for you in the car. Yes, you do that. I'll inform Sonali and join you. Sonali? Sonali? You called me? Yes. Mandy has gone to the movies with her friends. Mr. Wong and I are going to the Botanical Gardens for about two hours. So, take care of the house while we are gone. Sure, Mrs. Wong. Don't worry. I'll manage everything while you are gone. Dad, why don't you bring up the topic about my marriage to Manso? I think let Raju do it. Okay, Dad. I'll talk to Mom. So, what is very important that you wish to discuss with me? It concerns Shivani's mother. Aha! Uh -huh. I have an inner feeling that this has something to do with Shivani's marriage. Am I right? Yes, you are right, Mother. I'm sure you are aware that Mansoor has special feelings for our Shivani. Actually, this feeling is mutual between the two. So, what about that? Don't you think it would be appropriate if Shivani and Mansoor get married? Get married? How can that be possible? The barrier of the religion separates the two. But they both love each other. 
We are Hindus and Mansur is Muslim. Mother, why can't I convert to Islam? What is wrong with this girl? Why are you creating a new problem for the family? Huh, want to convert to Islam? Why can't Mansur convert to Hinduism? This is not possible in Malaysia, Mother. We are all humans. That should be enough. Yes, all of us are created equally in the eyes of God. Religious differences are all man-made problems. Mom, what is wrong if I convert to Islam? I know their culture very well. I will be able to get well into their family. So, you wish to break an age-old tradition? In our history of family line, coming down since numerous generations, none has ever converted to another religion. Hello? Hello? Raju? Is a mom there? Yeah, she's here. Can you pass the phone to her? It's for you, mom. Hello? Sonali? Is everything okay there? We should be back shortly. Yes, everything is fine here, Mrs. Wong. Okay, bye then. We will have to continue the discussion later as Mrs. Wong is returning within 15 minutes. Hi, why is everyone in such a serious mood? Is anything the matter? No. Mandy, I'm also facing the same problem as you. Really? What seems to be your problem? Okay, Mrs. Wong. We are leaving. If there is anything, please call. We will be in the outhouse. Yes, Sonali. Well, so, have you decided anything about Mandy and Raju? What is there to talk about? I think I have already told you before, and I'm telling you again. Marriage between the two is impossible. But this is the modern age, Wong. No, modern age or old age. No daughter of mine is going to marry someone from another race or religion. Just look at the cultural differences. Mandy will not be able to fit into their family. Their diet is different from ours. Their religious beliefs are different from ours. Let me ask you that. If I cut myself, what will be the color of my blood? Why, red of course. And what will be the color of blood if Raju cuts himself? Red of course. What's that? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. What's wrong, Wong? Dad, Dad. Uh, are you all right? Uh, my back hurts. Uh, quickly. Uh, uh, call Manso. Y yes, Dad. Sonali. Sonali. Raju. Raju. Shivani. Come quickly. It's the Wong's in Come quickly. Raju, Raju, Sonali. Why? What is wrong with your father? I don't know. One moment he was just fine and suddenly he collapsed. His lower back hurts. Oh, it's, it's painful. <laughs> Let's lift him up and make him comfortable on the sofa. Raju, Vishnu, both of you lift him from the legs. Shivani, Aditya and I will lift him from the top. Let me try calling Mansoor again. Mansoor, Mansoor! Uh, yes, Mandy. What's wrong? You sound so worried. <laughs> it's father. He's in severe pain. His back hurts very badly. Please come over 
quickly. Okay, okay, Mandy, calm down. I'm on my way. Meanwhile, let him have two pound adults and rub some tiger balm where it hurts. I should be there shortly. Raju, get two panadols. Aditya, bring some water. Yes, I'll bring the panadol. I'll bring the water. Mother, tell Shivani where we keep the tiger bomb. Shivani, touch the bomb quickly. It's in the wall cabinet in the bathroom. Yes, yes, I will get it right away. 